Windows is the stage for the world's creation. And the best part is, you can't come! <laughs> that does it, come on dude! Howdy y'all, welcome to the DIY channel. Microsoft wants you to throw out your perfectly good hardware. Bruh. Just for that Microsoft, I'm gonna show everyone how you can get Windows 11 Pro running on unsupported hardware with a Windows 7 key. Let's go. <laughs> yeah boy. End of an era, Windows 10 is ending in three months. And although technically Windows 7 keys are supported in Windows 11, you can't actually use them on the installer. So if you already have Windows 10 running, you can move ahead to the chapter on updating Windows 10 to Windows 11. For the rest of us, we're gonna need to get the Windows 10 installation media. I'll link everything in the description below. So you just need an eight gig USB, accept the agreement, and we're gonna create the installation media, USB flash drive. And if you untick that box, you can change the language if you need. This is important for later. So hit next for flash drive. And as long as it shows up, you can hit next again and let it install. And you might want to hold on to that flash drive because Microsoft will take this method down eventually. So once you've booted to your installable, select next and install now. And this is where I got super lucky. I found a barbecue on the street that had a Windows 7 Pro key on it. And we accept the agreement, hit next, and we're gonna do a custom install. If you've got a new hard drive, it will show up as unallocated space. If you have a bunch of partitions like this, you can just delete them all. But take note of the drive number. These are all drive zero. If you have a drive one, that's a different hard drive. Check the sizes. Now that's all unallocated space, I can hit new, apply, and let it create the extra partitions. And then hit next. And this installs all our files onto our hard drive. And once it resets, just rip out your USB key and then we can finish the installation. You're gonna to wanna to select your region and hit yes. I've got a QWERTY keyboard, so US is right. And I'm gonna skip any extras and I'm gonna make sure that my ethernet is unplugged because I don't wanna use an online Microsoft account. I just want a normal admin account. And I'm always gonna disagree and untick everything I can. I don't want Microsoft slowing down my old computer anymore then it already is going to. So we're in, we just need to run our updates. This will give us most of our drivers, but if you don't have internet, you'll need to install them manually from your motherboard manufacturer's website. But if you are lucky enough to have internet, go down to optional updates, view all, and in here you have driver updates. Expand that and just select everything in here. This will give us our chipset and all those other things that are missing. And then just let them load and reboot and we're ready to install Windows 11. Now that we've got a fully working Windows 10, I'm just gonna double check that it's activated. If yours is not activated and it's not activating, you might have to downgrade to Windows 10 Home. Click the link up above. I've got a video on just how to do that. Now, if you wanna check if your hardware is actually unsupported, you can run the PC Health Check. You just download it from the Microsoft website and you can see I don't have a TPM 2.0, I could add one to my motherboard. Most motherboards have TPM headers, but my CPU is also unsupported. So I'm not gonna waste 20 bucks on a TPM, but if you do wanna get a TPM, just make sure you get the right one for your motherboard. Computer says no. So I'm gonna bypass all the system checks for Windows 11 and run the upgrade anyway. First, we need to get the Windows 11 ISO. You'll need to select your language. Make sure you match the language that you installed Windows 10 as. And then you'll just need to select the 64-bit download. And then we just need to mod our registry. Sounds tricky, but there's even a pre-made program, open source, called Flyby11 we can use. So we don't have to manually mod the registry ourselves. This makes it super easy and we can just download it for free. I use the Insider version and you're gonna need to unzip it all. When you run the Insider app, you'll probably get a Windows protection error. Go to more info and run anyway. And then Flyby11 will start and scan your PC to make sure it can actually run Windows 11. And what do you know? This PC is fine. As long as those are both ticked, your computer can run Windows 11 just fine. Now we know Clippy's got our back, we can start the update now. 
and we need to select our ISO so we'll select from computer so the reason I wanted the same language is because it will preserve all my settings and drivers now we just need to enable advanced upgrade mode and we can hit yes and then it's going to load into the Windows installer as Windows Server. But it's actually installing Windows 11, but using the Windows Server installer. This bypasses the TPM and CPU check. So hit Next and let it run. Thanks for watching everyone, let me know in the comments how you went, or if you had any trouble, I'll do my best to help you out, and I'll catch you on the next one. There goes the family vacation, I got something for you alright.